Our focus is primarily on the pranayama practices. Most of these practices are taken from the from this book. The documentation is taken from this book. Most of these practices I have learnt uh, from the uh, Patanjali Foundation's uh, uh, teacher learning program and uh, also have been benefited by the programs of art of living and inner, uh, inner engineering and many of these practices I have learnt uh, from these foundations, but the teacher training I, uh, I took from the uh, Patanjali foundations uh, program and uh, the documentation part of it step by step process are taken from this book of Swami Niranjananda Saraswati. He is uh, uh, with the Bihar school of yoga Munger and those who are interested to read further or to know uh, these practices in more detail can refer this book. Uh, this book explains pranayama in four types, but uh, here we have taken uh, three types only conscious breathing, preliminary breathing methods and classical pranayams. To understand conscious breathing, we must take note of the functionality of the brain. We have predominantly three types of uh, three components of brain which are related to the different activities limbic brain, reptilian brain and prefrontal cortex. Reptilian brain is most evolved and uh, it is primarily maintains or regulates the basic bodily functions coldness, dryness, managing territory. Uh, controlling our life situations that is related to that survival related things. Limbic brain uh, which first started evolving first started appearing amongst the mammals that limbic brain that part of brain is related to the emotions memories. So, naturally uh, it is related to uh, relationships association building family working together those aspects. So, that is the limbic brain and prefrontal cortex that is most evolved part of our brain that is related to the most sophisticated executive function or cognitive activities uh, like attention, self control, compassion, free will, judgment, planning etcetera. If we look at and if we distinguish conscious breathing with unconscious breathing, we find that unconscious breathing falls under the control of primitive parts of brain. When we are unconsciously breathing only the primitive part of brain shows more activity. However, when we do conscious breathing uh, the frontal brain start registering that, that activity and that becomes active. So, naturally when frontal brain is active, we have more control on different other activities. We can be more conscious in making judgments, planning, uh, being compassionate about others, we can self control ourselves. So, uh, you might remember the allegory of chariot, the mind is the rein through which the senses can be controlled, that rein is powerful when we are consciously breathing. So, the, the control over the senses with that rein will come down will be loosened when we are engaged in the unconscious breathing. So, the conscious breathing itself is the first pranayama. You might recall there is a very well developed field of practices and there is lot of research studies there are there are lot of research studies associated bad with that field is called mindfulness. Mindfulness predominantly based on observing our breath without regulating it without changing its intensity or speed 
observing that breath, observing breath that is the essence of the mindfulness practices. Similarly, this practice is done in a Buddhist tradition and this practice over there is called vipassana. There is a ethical, moral uh, and metaphysical aspect of the vipassana and that is equally important. Similarly, mindfulness also has a ethical, moral uh, basis that is equally important, but in terms of the practice mindfulness and vipassana to the core are nothing but conscious breathing. And just by conscious breathing, we come to know, we become aware of the functioning of mind, how attachment takes place, how some of the events disturb us and how just by being observant about our breath, we can control our senses, we can control our instincts, we can be more, uh, we can live more consciously. So, there is a vast field in itself. Uh, in the form of vipassana or in the form of mindfulness, which is just based on conscious breathing. But pranayama is not only about conscious breathing, it is only the very first step, that is a basic thing. Uh, to understand the uh, pranayama, which is actually regulation, so in the mindfulness they emphasize not to regulate breathing at all, but in pranayama that regulation is very much part of the practice and that, 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 that the essence of practice rather. To understand how to control the breathing and what are the different forms of it, we need to understand a preliminary breathing methods. So, there are three types of breathing methods, uh, abdominal or diaphragmic breathing, uh, thoracic breathing and uh, uh, clavicular or shoulder breathing. Abdominal breathing happens when action of the diaphragm increases and decreases the size of thoracic activity. The diaphragm is a muscular structure which uh, is right below the ribs and that uh, 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 creates a boundary between the ribs or the thorax and our stomach. If you see a child particularly when the child when a, when a child is sleeping, you can very clearly see the movement in his or her stomach that is the diaphragmic breathing. So, when the diaphragmic breathing takes place, the diaphragm goes up little bit. So, more comfortable experience occurs in the diaphragmic breathing. Thoracic breathing is when uh, thorax area expands predominantly and uh, in the thoracic breathing, breathe or the air is mostly centered in the upper part of the lungs. Whereas, abdominal breathing helps in increasing lower parts of the uh, lungs as well. Then comes clavicular breathing, which is the side aspect, uh, uh, which is the side structure of the lungs and when the air is filled there, our uh, shoulder also uh, become little stiff. Yogic breathing is combination of all three. Normally, we are engaged in the thoracic and clavicular or shoulder breathing. Yogic breathing, we are going to uh, look at the uh, yogic breathing, is engaging in all three parts of breathing. So, in this session, uh, let us look at how we can do the conscious breathing, and this itself has a major calming effect. So, sit comfortably or lie in savasan uh, and uh, carry out this practice of kaya sathilyam that is loosening the body. You can sit down on the chair and then you can take your attention from the uh, toes to ankle to the uh, calf muscles to knees to lungs to gonads to stomach to chest to shoulders to neck and uh, calm down these all organs or you can lie down in Shavasana and take your attention from toe to head gradually and that process will calm down your active mental activities and that will give the sense of relaxation. So, that is a first step in conscious breathing. Be in this stage for few minutes 
if you are sitting on the chair or uh, lying in Shavasana, be in that state, be in that relaxed state uh, uh, for a few minutes and just observe, start observing breathing, need not to change the breathing pattern. Just observe this, as you continue to give attention to the breath, it become more conspicuous to you, it becomes, you become more aware to the speed, intensity and depth of your breathing. Even at this stage, when you are more aware of these aspects of breathing, do not try to regulate it, just observe. Just observe, is there a gap between the breaths, is it shallow, is it slow or is it deep. Keep your awareness on each exhalation and inhalation and say to yourself mentally that I am aware that I am breathing in, I am aware that I am breathing out. Now count your breath backward from 27 to 0. and mentally say that I am aware that I am breathing in 27, I am aware that I am breathing 26, 25, 24, 23 and continue this process up to 1. Mind naturally wanders and if we are doing it after long time or if we are doing it first time, we can experience this wandering mind more intensely. So, what I do if my mind get distracted during the time of counting? So, I start from 27 and by the time I reach 18 or 15, my mind goes somewhere else. What do you need to do? You need to come back to 27 and start counting again. Continue this process till the time without distraction you can count inversely from 27 to 1. This may take few minutes, maybe 5 minutes or 10 minutes. If you are doing it first time, it may take even more, but experience the relaxation and sense of comfort you get after this simple conscious breathing process. Thank you.